My idea came from an unpleasant offshore fishing trip in a boat that I'd only just purchased that I discovered later that had all the flotation removed which made the fishing trip extremely dangerous because it was the conditions were horrendous when I returned home and that got me thinking uh, when I seen just how dangerous it could have been and, and how I could have uh, been a fatality I started thinking about how I could improve not just put flotation back into the boat but how I could improve not only putting the flotation back in but also the amount of spray that came on board uh, the, the just the, the comfort uh, at rest and being a boat builder by trade I used all those years of experience of um, working from other people's sets of plans and how they are used to stabilize boats because there's two things uh, that we have in the boating industry that are the biggest problems one's capsizing and the other of course is boat sinking so I worked on a way to prevent boats from both sinking and give a boat as much possible stability with a boat accessory that is going to solve the problems, especially in the small boats where most of the boat fatalities occur. Yeah, that's a very good question. The, the workings of it are from the wide reverse chine, 140 millimeter wide reverse chine. Now, because of the reverse chine, it turns the water down and away, but also hydrodynamically produces lift. To a small boat, that's really important. To a small boat, that gives stability, especially in a following sea when you come down into that trough. But uh, mainly when you're stationary, you feel the effects of the stability like you've, you'd only like your boat to be. This is how you feel that your boat wants to perform. That you know, fishing even in rough conditions or side onto a current, the boat collar gives you that sort of assurance that your boat isn't going to misbehave, that you're not going to fall over the side. If you're pulling in a crab pot for argument's sake and you're pulling against the tide, you're not going to feel at all in danger. It's going to stabilise your boat uh, to, to the level of comfort where you feel that you're enjoying your day out fishing. When you examine the collar working, you'll see the spray being turned down and away. You'll see the hydrodynamics of the collar in full play. The V underneath side of the reverse chine pro hydrodynamically producing lift, lifting the side of the boat, which is preventing the broaching. Normally the boat would roll, normally it would turn up and over a wave, where now what it's actually doing is controlling the boat. It's, it's like three fins on a surfboard. The boat is comfortably managed by the skipper even when you're running across the face of a wave. Look for that. Look for the boat going across the face of the wave. Look for the boat when it's going through the white water. Also, the stability that it gives sideways means that you don't have to take a wave for front on. It's far better actually taking a, a wave side on, uh, almost at an acute angle, almost running parallel with the wave. So watch for that. Watch for how easy it is going over a wave at speed. Normally we're told to slow down when we come to white water and, and just go through it gently. With this product, you can actually motor over the top of it. It is, it is far safer to be at speed, giving you the opportunity to be able to turn your boat, maneuver your boat. Uh, it, if there's a wave breaking right behind this one, it gives you the opportunity, you're at speed, to turn and run with it. Don't try and go through it, run with it and then turn around and come back over the white water. It's very important when you're crossing bars to have a boat that, that is so stable um, that it's, it's actually safe doing it.